Get ready for the next battle. 4317. Hello, I am Toony SA, and I'm on my quest to defeat Wumpa Lewis's Platinum Relic Times. And I can finally continue uh, the Relic series now because, uh, yeah, um, I had to go and get all the crystals, so I've not been able to do a video in the Relic series for a while to make sure I have all of the power ups. Um, yeah. I'm uh, excited to get back at it. Feels like it's been a really long time since I've been able to do this challenge. Probably don't really need the Aku Aku mask on this level, to be honest, unless you can somehow get triple Aku. I don't believe that you can. But uh, yeah, as as this is a platforming level, I do have the target to beat Lewis's time by a second. Um, if I can't do that, then I, you know, I'll restart. It was the vehicle levels that um. That I'm avoiding uh, the one second rule. But yeah, I'm excited for Crash 3 uh, a little bit more than I was for Crash 2. Although, saying that, I was really excited for Crash 2 right up until, um, you know, actually doing it. 43.05. Let's see. 43.17. I barely beat Lewis there, so I'm not done yet. I need to go back in and do better. So, yeah, maybe sub-40 would be a fun goal to go for. And now I've got the running shoes, I can actually move at a decent speed. I just need to, like... Because I've just done the crystals, right, where I didn't have to use um, the running shoes for the entire time, I've kind of almost gone back into a similar mode to Crash 1. Because uh, I'm just so used to not holding the right trigger so far. I can definitely... Why am I getting masks? I can avoid masks. I didn't see a triple Aku. So, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's try and avoid the masks next time. That'll save me probably about a second across the two masks. I'm not seeing a triple Aku in sight. Oh, yeah, without without those Akus, sub-40 is definitely possible. So we're just going to restart right now. No point in uh, wasting time continuing. Got the mask anyway, but whatever. I won't really go out of my way for the other one. It's not necessary. Straight up. I would like to not bounce on the box if possible, but we are. Damn you, triple spin. Oh, not triple spin. What's it called? Tornado spin? It's triple spin to the Crash 4 one, isn't it? Which I barely had any experimentation with. I remember trying to get the Platinum Relic on just the first level on Crash 4, something like that. And I spent like 30 minutes and I didn't get close, so I just kind of gave up. All right, we still didn't make sub 40. We are going to make sub 40, though. That's the goal. All right, let's try starting. It kind of makes sense to start here, though, no? Maybe a bit more in the middle. Oh, crap. Right trigger shoots. So I was completely unprepared for that. Yeah, you probably only lose a fraction of a second, but it's a mask that you genuinely don't need. If you're hitting an enemy on this level, you've lost the time that you need to be sub 40, I think. Okay, we got a... No! Balls Mahoney. I was not expecting that frog to jump like a nitro crate up like that. Right, well now we know right trigger shoots. That gives us a little bit of an edge. And from what I saw in the earlier levels, Lewis wasn't really bothering with the bazooka strat. So it does give me a little bit of an edge on, I think, the first, like, two warp rooms for sure. I'm not sure, maybe the third a little bit as well. I saw in his episode today, like, Tomb Raider, that uh, he was starting to get into the habit of using it for the more difficult levels. Right, you've got to do a double spin there. It's kind of annoying, though, the triple tornado spin thing, because sometimes you just really don't want to do it, and it slows you down if you keep doing it beyond what you want to do. Oh, that was close. That was close. We're going to get this. It's doable. Just needs to be a bit better. Come on. Reasonable goal as well. I've not set myself a stupid goal of getting, like, sub-38, which I believe would probably be within my... Uh, 
skill for um, more effort than I want to commit, really. Just want to have fun with the relics now. Got a little bit stuck there. Yeah, if you commit to the triple spin, it seems like you slow down quite drastically. Which is a bit annoying. That was better. We didn't have to do the... That was awful. That was terrible. That was abysmal. We ain't gonna make it this time. That was atrocious timing on those ones. It's like way better if you if you can like do what I did the, like that one time where I got the frog to take out those boxes. That's perfect. Like, can I get even further? Can I be even more greedy? It looks like the pot needs to very slightly still be on screen for you to get it. Still can't get that jump correctly because like. The spin makes you hover a little bit, so you get more air time than you're expecting. Oh, gosh, yes. More of that. More of that. One, one, one. No, we're still going to just about miss out. Yeah. Damn. All right, maybe some 40 really is a good challenge. Like, it's definitely doable. It's just you need uh, a lot to go right. I want you to just barely be on screen. Oh. That's better. <clears throat> oh, yes. That was a sexy smash. Best of smashes are always the sexiest. Oh, yes. Come on, this is going to be the run. As long as this part over here doesn't go crap with the goat and the frog. Or the toad, I should say. Alright, that was nice. That was smooth. Let's smooth. Definitely doable. I'm a second ahead. This could be the one, as long as nothing else goes wrong. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That knocked a few seconds off my life. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And there we have it. 39.29. That's a respectable time. Sub 39 is definitely possible for me if, like, that triple one section goes better. But I'm happy with that time. I think that's a solid time to me. Better. So I've got my speed shoes. Now this game, <clears throat> unlike the other two, was actually designed with relics in mind. So I don't know if I need to do the spin sliding stuff. Oh yeah. Or the slide jumping stuff. That was. A or if speed shoes is enough. Best of smashes are always the sexiest. Oh yes. Come I'm on, this is going to be the run. As long as this part over here doesn't go crap with the goat and the frog, or the toad, I should say. Alright, that was nice. That was smooth. Let's smooth. Definitely doable. I'm a yeah, second wait, ahead. This could be the one, as long as nothing else goes wrong. Way of doing it. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That knocked a few seconds off my life. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't and know, that's the end of the level, but it doesn't... That's a respectable time. Sub-39 is definitely possible for me. Like oh, okay, that it was platinum. How did I not get that the first time I tried this? But yeah, that was fun. That was much more fun than Turtle Woods, for example. Um, definitely more fun than Snow Go. Now, luckily, I've already done the, the annoying levels in this warp room, I guess. Well, some of them. I've already done Deep Trouble. So let's go on to... 12078. So because this is a platforming level, 11978 is where I realistically need to be before I'm happy. Let's see what happens if I... Uh, Smooth. Oh. <laughs> Terrible uh, circumstance to happen there mid jump. Oh. oh, yeah, I can double jump. Don't forget to do that if things go pear shaped. Great start. It's alright, I'm just going to keep going because I want to figure out more about the level. It's not a very long level, I seem to call. It's like, it's like decently long, but it's like, doesn't overstay its welcome. Just have uh, two running away sections here, and then one running away section later. Not too bad. Side scrolling section, which kind of feels a bit pointless.
Alright, this section I completely forgot about. I completely forgot there was like a middle section like this. Whoops. Oh no, got stuff on the uh... Oh wait, you can get a triple act on this level, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think you can get a... Oh no. I think you can get a triple actor on this level. Yeah, I'm just like adding intention for later. But yeah, now I know triple actor is available. I'm gonna have to try my best to get that fuck there. No, no, I'm not. I'm not having that happen twice. Three times actually. That that actually happened three times in the entire level. Try and keep hold of this. No, nope. I want to keep hold of it. It's gonna give me the best possible time. Come on. Give me some loot. Right. Let's try and remember where this stuff is. That's what my biggest enemy of these levels uh, always is. Is that me just not remembering where stuff is. Um, and my short term memory's terrible. So it's not gonna get really any better. Although I am doing a lot more risky slide jumping than I would on the boulder stages because I know on this level, like, holes aren't quite as prominent. Oh, fudger. Shit, there it is. There's a triple aku right there. We are getting that triple aku. We are totally getting that triple aku. It's going to be uh, great. Come on, come on, come on. It's going to save us so much time as well when we get it. Like three seconds at least. <laughs> and this is why having the belly bot belly button This is why having the belly button uh control on the same thing is so annoying. You're gonna have times where you hit things like that and then just belly flop straight after because your hand is just constantly resting over the um the speed shoot button. It's gonna happen. And it's gonna be annoying every time it happens. Right, maybe we just uh, take it a bit chiller and like just run. What? I did not touch you. I mean, yes, I slid, but like usually you slide over for a certain period of time. Wait, I need that mask. What am I doing? Oh my god. Right, there's a red thing here. There we go. All right, so that's what I'm trying to do. Is you can kind of like slide up the obstacles without taking damage, but I keep taking damage on some of them. Um, I'm not really sure why. Right, there should be a mask around here. I need to be really careful not to waste it like the last one. There we go. Here we go. There we go. Triple Aku. Oh, oh, oh. Just good. This feels fun. This feels fast. I just now, well, I've, at least I've got some Akus left over for um, this section over here, which is good. Um, means that I can afford to make a couple of mistakes. Oh yeah, I don't need to get that. Dino dude will get that. When will you learn? Alright, he should get every single crate for me at this point. Oh, you see, that's what gets you. That's what gets you. Oh, what's that? 117.03. Flat? Is it one second of flat, though? Oh, yeah, it's more than enough. Um, I'm just going to put this as our. I'm going to try it again. Um, that level was fun enough where I think I want to try and get a slightly better time, but I'm not going to go crazy on it. My target today really is to do these three levels so that Warp Room 1 is sufficiently done. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get the picture... Oh, remembering where this stuff is, it's just a nightmare. These lava pits have got slightly annoying hitboxes, but, um... It's nowhere near as uh, annoying as the hitboxes from uh, Crash 2 so far. 
those hitboxes can really go to hell. In a hand basket. Alright, this is the one I just died to. Easy jump that time. Take easy. Alright, mask around this corner. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. This is a run. This is a run. Just try and avoid belly flops and we should be good here. This is a run, yeah. Especially because I've not really had much practice on the final like stretch. I do already remember though, um, I do already remember though that there is a crate coming up right here. Knew it was coming and I still missed it. He'll take care of that, which should be all the time I need now, just don't accidentally die. I still got an Aku. Come on, come on, get out, get out, get out. Still got an Aku. Oh my gosh, I somehow did worse. How did I do worse? Is it, Oh, it must just because I really wasn't slide jumping as much as before. Amazing how much of a difference I actually makes. Underestimated it. I guess I am going to have to some extent learn then where these lava pits are, because I'm going to need to uh, slide jump every now and again. Yeah. Yeah. One coming up here, and then it's just uh, pterodactyls, isn't it? There we go. That was smooth. Get a better shot on this Aku Aku crate. Didn't really. Nice. Go on. Alright, 31. Let's try and remember. 31 seconds going into this section. So that's a good target to aim for. So I think that that went smoothly overall. That part looks like it went approximately the same because uh, the Aku Aku mask actually went at the exact same spot. Right. Guess we're going to have to take the risk. Do a couple of slides here and there. We've got the, uh, the resources to get away with it. Just need to have the confidence, the cockiness. Come on, come on, come on. This is a... Uh... Alright, there we go. We beat it by a decent amount as well. That's a good time. I'm happy with that. No need to uh, beat a dead horse. I do like that level. Um, it, I don't like it enough where I'd really want to grind hard to get like even like another second off, to be honest. I'm happy with that. And we're going to go to a level now that I'm going to be less happy with. Lines up very well. Just because I really wasn't sliding. And if I had the after, I could have dodged that too. Amazing how much of a difference that actually makes. I underestimated it. I guess I am going to have to some extent learn them where these lava pits are, because I'm going to need to uh, slide jump every now and again. Yeah. Yeah. One coming up here, and then it's just a uh, pterodactyl, doesn't it? There we go. Not smooth. Get a better shot on this Aku Aku crate. Didn't really. Nice. Go on, all right, 31. Let's try and remember. 31 seconds going into this section. So that's a good oh, it still slows you down. So I, I think know. that went smoothly overall. That part looks like it went approximately the same because uh, the Aku Aku mask actually went at the exact same spot. Right, I guess we're gonna have to take the risk, do a couple of slides here and there. We've got the uh, got to be careful. The resources to get away. Oh, that. that's exactly what I was warning myself about. I was, uh, I was saying I've got to be careful. I've got two Akus, but if I hit anything, I'm gonna get bounced oh, in the air. Uh, and if I continuously slide jump, all right, there we go. I'm gonna just by a belly flop. Well. Well. So, I mean, what was that? One twenty. That's oh. I do like that level. Um, what, what was my previous score? Like this, the whole really thing has just been, this whole video has just been me pleasantly surprised by everything. What was my previous score that I thought I... Okay, making waves, Lewis has a time of 56.02. And I remember he, it took him quite a while to get that. 
Um, again, this is a vehicle level, so I'm not going to be trying very hard to beat his time by a second. If it happens by accident, great. But my target with this one is just to beat his time. Um, I just don't enjoy the vehicle levels enough to uh, really, really grind hard for that extra second. As long as the digits on the screen show that I did it faster, that'll be enough for me. Yeah, I just don't really have fun with the controls on this level all that much. Um, it's not like an insane thing. I also really didn't enjoy these levels when I was... Um, I just didn't enjoy these levels even when I was playing the game casually. That one's second grade. That was uh, not a good one. It's kind of uh, far away. Good place to take a mask, I think. Could you have made it any more stupid? <laughs> I literally drove straight into the bomb. Um, water can be a bit unpredictable at times. Like, uh, I don't know why, I just expected that bomb to start to, like, cycle back, so I thought I could make it. And then, as I got closer and closer, I'm just like, okay, this is not cycling back. I might avoid that one crate, though. It feels like a red herring. It needs to be a two or three crate to be worth going, like, that far to the, to the left, I feel. You know what I mean? Like, you're not saving really any time getting there. I maybe should have done like a um, CTR thing whereby like if you got every single crate you got like an extra 5 seconds off your time or something like that. I mean like every single time crate of course, not every single actual crate. Alright, we'll lose the mask there just to keep up appearances, not appearances, what's the word, keep up uh, momentum. Got about 10 seconds left to beat Lewis and we are getting close to the end of the level. Crap do you do, we missed a, a thing. That could be costly. Lewis's time was pretty good. Bang, bang, bang. Decent amount of time saved there from the clock. But is it going to be enough? No, I don't think so. What was Lewis's time again? 56.02. Yeah, we uh, we need to cut off a... Um, we need to cut off a, at least a second there. Two seconds according to the final time, but I missed a crate that was supposed to be in my arsenal. So I count that as time that should have counted. I'm gonna maybe consider like the one crate up here, if it's possible to like just do a sort of really good turn. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe if you turn like that, it might be worth it. And that turn there was a little bit better as well. Just remember I'm at about the 25 second mark at that point. A future reference. These bombs are a little bit of a bastard. Got through it though. Now we've got an Aku Aku to sponge that bomb if it was in an awkward spot, which it was not. Most fun weapon in CPR, by the way, the bowling bombs. Especially when you learn that you can fire them backwards, pinstripe style. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's the same one crate. It's the same one crate. Damn it. It's not even like a difficult one crate either, like where it's out the way. It's just I did not line up with it nicely at all. Can I still beat him without it? That is the question. It's gonna be tight. Probably not, no, probably not now. Nah, absolutely not. Like, I genuinely wonder, like, if it is better to just avoid these one crates and just go, like, hard left around these corners. Or well, I know that if I'm gonna go, like, the extra distance, that I must pick up the crate, otherwise it's pointless. I think it is worse. I'm looking now, I'm at 27 seconds. And I think I was at 25 last time I got here, so I think it looks like it is actually worse to do what I just did. Two seconds worse, that would be. Yeah, like, no, that isn't enough. But yeah, oh well, I could have my work cut out for me on this level. I better get comfortable. Could have probably made a cup of tea. Could be here a while. You know, we might as well spend these maps in uh, map maps. We might as well spend these maps, these uh, masks in uh, strategic places because we do get three across the whole level. So this might be a good spot here to just like lose one if I happen to get hit. I did. 
Don't have one anymore, though. That'll save me a second from uh, taking a slightly longer thing. I think there are three masks anyway. Maybe two. Two, maybe. Alright, come on, come on, come on. This is a good run. Pumping up with this run. Going well. Can't really see, like, how much more time save I could possibly have on this level. So imagine if I was trying to, you know, beat Lewis by a second still. I think, like, the time save would be, like, non-existent. Bang, bang, bang. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, I think I just about missed out. No, did I just about miss out? 56.14, Lewis was 56.02. Damn. That's actually really disappointing because, again, like, I don't feel like I could save that much more time. And if I was doing the one second rule for this, like, oh my gosh, I would have, an, like, an absolutely horrible time with this level. I'm not entirely sure if going over this gives you, like, a little bit of a speed boost. It gives you, like, the motion blur as though you're getting a speed boost. But it's hard to say whether or not you are actually feeling an increase in speed and whether that speed is, like, enough for the uh, deceleration you get when going up a ramp. Look at me, Albert Einstein, trying to get the physics down of Prep Bandicoot. Wow. We didn't die to the boat guy, apparently, if you do that. Interesting. Good to know. You can actually, uh, boat bomb the boat guy. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry. Can't lose it, can't lose it, can't lose it. Good, good, good. Can't lose a the mask there, though, which is annoying, because that's a good corner to uh, skip over. Come on, come on, come on. 5481. Is that going to be enough? I think I was on 53 last time. Oh, ah, yeah, that's worse. I think, yeah, losing the mask at that wrong place is what cost me there. I might have actually done okay if I could have cut one of those corners that I'd kept putting. That's unfortunate. I'm optimistic, though. I'm enjoying this so far. Like, overall, good episode. The last episode was quite fun as well. I had a good time, like... I had a good time, like, overall reducing my time on Orient Express. It was fun. Even though it was really difficult to get the time I did. It was, uh... Fun. I was trying my best to beat the dev time. Like, I just saw the dev time and I was like, man, that dev time feels like even more solid than usual dev time. You need to try and beat that. Can I bazooka the clock? <laughs> just uh, stand on that beach over there, look back and bazooka it. 25 again. Okay, yeah, we are consistently getting here at the 25 mark, which is on pace. It really is just this part up here needs to go better. And that's all there is to it lose that there. This needs to be in a, a good spot, which it was. It was on its way out, which is good. And then, yeah, we just need to try and maintain this mask right until the one section coming up where we want to lose it. Never mind, we're going to have to take it there. Unfortunate placement of that bomb. Whoosh! I thought, like, my uh, left-hand side propeller there was going to just about nick the bomb. Luckily, it did not. I feel like it's just going slower somehow. Oh, it is. Damn. It's tough. This is a tough, tough relic time. Fair play, Lewis. Like, I know the relic time itself for this level is tight, but fair play for um, getting uh, such tight time to the 56 mark. That's a uh, solid. It's a good, good challenge. I know, maybe, like, just you accidentally do something different on instinct because I'm pretty much doing everything else as planned, the same. You just need something to just slightly go your way that maybe is just instinctual, like, oh, that that's in the way, I'm going to take a slightly different angle on this, and then that's all they will take to save you, like, the third of a second. Right, what are you up to? You're going to recede again. You seem to at least consistently be receding there, which is good. Just like my cousin's hairline. He'll appreciate that joke. But that's always in the way. Why? Damn. I wouldn't have made it that time anyway because the 43 second mark is where I was at last time I was there. And there was just not really much road left to make any improvements. Why? You see what I mean? You couldn't do that micro adjustment with a stick. You would have just careened right into it. Totally fine. I'm glad that hitbox is uh, favourable. Alright then, yeah, I just need to make 
sure this bomb coming up isn't in an awkward spot. So that's uh, the one that I want to lose it on. It's just around here. There. I I'd love to just like slam into those bombs there instead of have to like take an angle like that, like a pretty broad angle. The fuck did he just throw me? Oh my gosh, that still was not fast enough. What the? What the crap do I need to do? Flipping it. I'm even more impressed by my 5614 because this is me trying to improve my time by making what I thought were improvements to the run. But it turns out wherever I was doing before was faster somehow. The thing is, I don't even know what I was doing before. I was just trying to get to the end of the level to see what the time was looking like. So I'm really, really confused about where I'm losing half a second. 38, 29, and we usually are at about the 40 second mark from this one. I think we are on schedule. It's good. That bomb, at least, is in a better spot this time. We're able to get that one crate effectively, which means we can still do a time save, even though it's not the bigger time save. So it's the smaller one. Come on. It's not it. I ended up actually having exactly the fucking same. Well, not the same, but... Oh gosh. So I, basically, I think I think what's going to do it for me is I need both of those Aku Aku masks to be lost on the obstacles I'm trying to lose them on. They really designed the level well in terms of graphics, so this is a beautiful level to look at. Gorgeous blue lush lakes, the uh, ocean I should say, the sun in the sky the way it is. This is it. this is it. We are ahead of schedule. We are ahead of schedule. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, how? 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 Eddie Howe, Newcastle United. How? I was, like, ahead of schedule. Like, I, I what did I lose time on there? Like, I went pretty much as good of an angle as any through all of those sections. Gosh. Yeah, it's just me luck-based at this point. Like, I'm not really seeing anything else I can do better. It's completely luck-based. In the wise words of Amazon, the sea is always shite. Oh, that's not fair. We've spanked that guy every time in the past, but this time it didn't work. Maybe weighing at the start of the level changes up cycles, I'm not entirely sure. Or I'm scared to like try that at this point. Um because I'm so used to where everything is. I don't really want to have to relearn the level in case. But it'll just add a lot of time to the thing. For maybe a payoff that I'm not sure about. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Have a smooth run, smooth run, smooth run, smooth run. No, you have got to be kidding me. Good run, but we are still like, what, four milliseconds from tying his time? Five milliseconds from beating his time. Not much else I can do, fella. Really not much else I can do. Well, you definitely don't get a 60 FPS advantage on this level, is where I'm seeing. Um, I mean, I'll be amazed if someone comes out and says that there is one, because you feel like, if there is, being in a vehicle, if you're moving at a constant speed, you'd constantly be going faster than um, Lewis by default. You'd definitely be with ease. I'm just not seeing that here. That was a good that was a good time. That was a twenty-four. Ba like just barely a twenty-four, but like we like to see the small wins. And the good news is, is like face planting these bombs doesn't seem to cost you any time in terms of speed. You seem to just phase right through the bomb when you hit them with the Aku. Which is good for our purposes. That's in a better spot as well. This is good, this is a good run. We got forty two this time instead of forty three. I think we're half a second ahead of our usual time. Come on, come on, come on. Take the shortcut here. Again, micro adjustments. Nothing too fancy. 54.04. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I've never managed to get a 53 at this point yet. Oh, yeah! I'm beating his time. Not much else I can do, fella. Really, not much else I can do. 
Oh, you definitely don't get a 60 FPS advantage on this level, is what I'm saying. Um, I mean, I'll be amazed if someone comes out and says that there is one, because you feel like if there is, being in a vehicle, if you're moving at a constant speed, you'd constantly be going faster than uh, Lewis by default. You'd definitely be with ease. I'm just not seeing that here. That was a good, that was a good time. That was a 24. It, like, just barely a 24, but like, we like to see the small wins. And the good news is, is like, face planting these bombs doesn't seem to cost you any time them. in terms of speed. You seem Very to just fade right but... the bomb when you hit them with the Aku. Which is good. For our purposes. Is it ever quicker to just damage boost one of these bombs? That's in a better spot as well. I'm already this using good, my Aku for much, except for like. We got 42 this time instead of 43. Accidentally. I think we're half a second ahead of our usual time. I could purposely use them. I can't, I can't, I can't. Take the shortcut here. Get okay, micro adjustments. Nothing too fancy. 5404. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I've never managed to get a 53 at this point yet. Yes, that was it. Nice. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, sha sha. We did it. Fuck yes. That felt like that was the right amount of challenge and not too much annoyance, whereby you feel like you've accomplished something. So thank you, Lewis. You gave me a really good challenge on that level, and I actually had fun with it. I was not expecting to enjoy this level at all, but this was actually one of the few levels where I enjoyed running the relic on it more than just playing it casually. So yeah, kudos for making that a fun, fun challenge. Did not expect that. All right, well, that concludes the episode. Please join me uh, next time when I take on uh, at least two levels, probably. I don't think I'll have too many issues with G-Wiz, but I'm going to do a couple of levels next time, uh, maybe two or three. So yeah, thank you so much for joining. Um, please drop me a subscription if you're enjoying my content. Drop one for Lewis's subscription as well. He deserves it for uh, inspiring the series. And yep, see you on the next one. Bye.